Hey guys, how are you today? All right. So I'm going to start off by being really honest with you. I am filming this a couple of days before Christmas. I know, right? So I have to work on finishing my, or working in my last journal for 2016. Uh, but that's not why we're here today. So I'm going to, that's what this is. This is my last journal for 2016. Um, I talk about these journals in the um, startup videos. So if you want to see more about these journals and what I'm using, why I'm using it, what works, what doesn't, um, go look at the getting started document in the file section of the group. Um, this is the last one for this year. This is November and December and I've got a few random bits and pieces here I need to stick in here and I need to... I've been just sticking pieces and I haven't done much actual writing. I've done a little bit so I need to work on that later today but not right now. <laughs> um, that's another bit or piece that's going to go in there. Today we're here to discuss the January prompt and to work in our journal for 2017 with the January prompt. Now the January prompt is confetti bubbles and bling. Interesting. What do you do with that, right? So the premise behind the prompt is to celebrate and embrace the incoming new year, right? So think of yourself as having a party in your journal, a new year's party in your journal, right? This is my 2017 journal for those who don't know. And let's see, I don't know if it's right side up or not. Let's see. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, um, so it is a, it's a faux Midori journal or traveler's notebook. It's from um, Amazon. And again, there is um, information about it in the getting started um, document um, and the videos. I am noticing that this little brass thing should be up here. So I'm going to have to switch that around. I won't do it right now, but um, I have some different little random pockets in here to hold little bits and pieces, a pen. And let's get started and let's go to our January section, which is right here. And this is the card that we tipped in for December um, to get started for our new year, which is our little sketchy girl that we did um, with all of her little inspirational words and symbols on her. Um, our, kind of our, our girl full of goals and hopes and dreams for the year, right? So now we're going to use the prompt confetti bubbles and bling to decorate our journal and I'm going to start out really simply by grabbing let's see let's grab a metallic getting the I'm getting the impulse let's grab a metallic gel pen um, I'm going to just quickly grab a few colors because I don't know what color I'm going to want to use um, Jelly Roll has some really great metallic gel pens so let's grab some of them I'm kind of wanting to go with this dark red one. And I'm going to go right on January 1st and write Happy New Year. Hear my dog barking. Somebody's in the front yard. Okay, and then I'm going to put a big exclamation point. Yeah, I love that. And it, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's just a little bit sparkly. You don't have to go hog wild and crazy on this, but, you know, add a little bit of sparkle and shine to your journal when you can. Um, I do have, I want to let that dry just a little bit. It's wet. Um, and I do have these gel highlighters. We may, may or may not put some of that on there. Um, but I like that. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to take something square. I happen to have these uh, Zentangle cards because way, way back when I thought I was going to be really into Zentangling. I have a whole stack of them. Um, and save over the holiday and the Christ and New Year's parties. Um, if you're going out to any events for the holidays, for Christmas, for whatever holiday you celebrate or New Year's, you know, all around you, you're going to find, um, hopefully you're going to get some gifts. There might be Chris, uh, wrapping paper involved. There might be confetti involved. Little bits of sparkle and bling. Save them. I recently got a package that had this paper wrapped around it, um, actually inside out, which was interesting. But when I ripped it open, 
Look at all that sparkle and shine um, and little chair type angels on it. So what I want to do is I want to cover the back. I'm going to rip, kind of rip off a piece. And if you've seen my post on social media lately, yeah, my desk is still a mess. <laughs> I'm going to cover the back of this coaster where it says all that bit about Zentangle on the back side with this fun sparkly paper. And what I'm going to do is just use double stick tape. So I'm going to run the tape as close to the edge as I can get it. And then I get a little bit in the middle. And then just kind of line it up with the edge. There we go. And then cut it out. Now if you have um, gone to a party or an event and you have tickets, you could save the tickets and put them in your journal. Um, if you have um, confetti, you can save a few pieces of that and put it in your journal. Um, Really look at what's around you when you're out and about with your family. And you don't have to make a huge deal out of, about it. Just, you know, I tend to just grab a few bits and pieces here and there and shove them in my handbag. And most of the time they don't even notice I've, I've grabbed things and put them in, to put in my journal. Okay, so we've started out by making a point of celebrating the day by writing Happy New Year. Love that. I am also going to go in here... And one of the things I've been trying to do with all my journals for 2016, and I'm going to continue to try to do it for 2017, I'm really bad about birthdays. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> um, but I do have a couple birthdays in January, um, and as the month goes on, I do want to mark them. Um, one is my little sister's, which I'm pretty sure is the 9th, and then my dad's, which I think is the 14th. Uh, so as they go along, as, as the month goes along and I, they pop up on my YouTube, um, I'm sorry, my Facebook, um, page, I want to make sure that I take a point, uh, make a point of writing their birthdays in here and to celebrate their birthday. Um, and if I can figure out their days ahead of time, of course I would write them ahead of time. Any special events that happen, places we go, if we go out on a date night, I would make a note of that. I wouldn't make a point of doing a ton of day-to-day -day journaling because that's not for me what my journal is about. But that being said, there's a calendar in here for a reason. So I will mark down special things. All right, so we're going to get back to our card. Remember, confetti, bubbles, and bling, right? So we already have this shiny bling. Don't you just love that? Isn't that cool? All right. Um, sorry, distracted. <laughs> so I'm going to just quickly, let's zoom in here. There we go. So I want to just loosely and quickly sketch a couple of champagne flutes. Do another one kind of this way. You, of course, don't have to do this in pen if you aren't confident in your drawing skills. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, do it in um, pencil. And then I'm going to just draw, you know, some bubbles. I'm going to take a small brush. This is a Snap, Princeton Snap Filbert, number four Filbert. It's teeny tiny. See that? It's little, little. I'm going to just get it wet. This is the Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen. So when I get it wet, it is going to bleed, which is 
one of the things I love about that, now that being said, it may not bleed a ton on this paper. I'm actually not sure. So we're trying this for the first time live on camera. <laughs> it's bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna just get my little bubbles wet. Yeah. Okay. We are going to go in and grab some, um, I'm just gonna really quick grab a little bit of watercolor and I'm gonna use um, something that's sort of champagne colored, right? So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the um, French ochre from my Daniel Smith Muted palette. And I haven't pre-wet my watercolors or anything, so that means they're gonna be a little harder to activate, which is okay, I kind of, I want that. I don't want a ton of color. This isn't, this is just a quick little sort of piece of artwork. And I'm adding in a little bit of the buff color. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of that here. Like that. Just that, just that much, nothing more than that. Now I'm gonna get out some glitter, hopefully. My drawer is jammed. Ugh. Okay. Let's find some gold. This'll work. This is just some kind of chunky-ish gold glitter. And I want to take some glue. And I'm gonna put the glue here on the, on the plate. I'm gonna mix in a bit of this glitter, which has never been opened. This is like glitter shavings. It's like little hairs of glitter. That's probably enough. I'm gonna get a different brush because for this I want something that I don't mind getting glitter stuck in. And I'm gonna mix the glitter and the glue together. Doing it this way ensures that most of the glitter is going to stay on your piece and it's not going to come off um, over everything else on your page. So I'm going to take my glitter and glue mixture and just kind of dab it on the champagne flutes and the bubbles hopefully. I can get some on the bubbles. This brush might be a little bit big. Oh, we got it. Okay, I like that. Oops. Now before this dries, oops, before this dries here, first of all, I'm gonna take this and stick it in the soapy water. And before this dries, I'm gonna take a baby wipe and we're gonna just do this. Now, of course, you could take this, you could spread it on a piece of deli paper or something like that to use somewhere else in your journal. You, of course you could do that. There's no wrong way, there's only your way. All right, so that's all clean. Now we can go back to our journal and we can tip in our little card or do we want to stick it in a pocket? Will it fit in one of these pockets? Nope. I do have some of these pockets we'll be using at some point. They're actually receipt pockets from Heidi Swap and they are sticky on the back. So they would be fun and will be fun at some point to use in the journal. You could put part, you could put event tickets in there. Of course you could put receipts in there. Maybe you're going on a vacation. You could put stuff for your, your vacation in here. I always like to have some sort of sticky pockets. And when I do take my journal traveling, I take the a few pockets and I stick them somewhere in my journal, either, either in here or in the zipper pouch. And I take some with me always. Because believe me, they come in handy. So I think what we're gonna do is tip this in I think I want to tip it in there. 
Do I want to tip it in here? See, that's always the debate. Maybe I want to just do it here. Let's get some tape, washi tape. And you know, it's confetti bubbles and bling, right? So we're gonna get some sparkly washi tape. I have these two sparkly colors. I don't remember where I got them. Some One of you is gonna ask me, but sparkly washi is all over the place. Um, no matter where you go, if you find the washi tape section, especially at this time of year, you're gonna find sparkly washi tape. Um, whether you're at Daiso or you're at Hobby Lobby or you're at Michael's, it's everywhere. Okay. Getting it open might be a challenge, <laughs> but you know. All right. I want the blue one. All right, of course I do. So let's let's put this in with some sparkly washi tape. Now, if your washi tape isn't super sticky, then you want to make sure uh, also put some glue down there or some gel medium or something to ensure that it stays and it doesn't come off. Not all washi tape is created equally and some of it's not super sticky. Okay, and so then we go and flip it open and put another piece on the inside. seems to be more like a fabric tape. I, again, I don't remember where I got it. Yep. I like that. All right. And it will, I mean, it'll, it's going to flop open. Oh, let me zoom out. Let's see. It's going to flop open like that for right now, but once it's been closed in there for a little bit, it'll stay closed. You just have to trust me on that. I am going to take a little bit of the sparkly washi, I think. No, I have, I want to do something else. So I, ha I got, I picked up these craft paper banner ribbons at Hobby Lobby. And so I want to take some of these. Let's see if we can find the beginning. Right here. And I want to take some of these and I want to use maybe the tape and these and I want to decorate um, our January page here. Again, we're adding more sparkle and bubbles and bling. So I'm gonna just cut off a strip of these. Maybe right there. <clears throat> you hear my devices blinging back there? <laughs> They're going crazy. So I don't want to put a flag on the fold because then, then things won't close correctly. And I don't want to necessarily cover everything up, but I do want to put this on here. So we're going to just glue it in. I'm going to kind of place it and then lift the little flags up, stick a dot of glue back there. Don't put too much glue because if you need to like move it around so that your journal closes, you can move it, you know, to the from side to side a little bit. Now the other teachers and I um, are each, as you all know by now, we've changed the rules and procedures for this whole journaling program recently. We'll discuss it while I'm here gluing these little flags in. Um, and we've created a special Facebook group just for the program. Um, it's called uh, My Year 2017. A link will be in the description below. Um, I am teaching this week. Um, and I believe Anne is teaching next week. Cindy's um, the week after. I will check for you. I don't remember the lineup. I just know I'm the first week, so I had to get my button gear. Oh, see right here, I was going to glue it over the elastic. Oops. So I want to make sure, you know, as the year goes on that I can take this January one out and put the next months in 
That means you need to be really careful about not gluing over the elastic, but putting things under the elastic. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have a trouble. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That is cute. And yeah, that'll fold. All right. Let me get my planner. I'll be right back. Okay. I was right. So I'm going to teach for the first week of any given month. My, the week will start on the first Sunday of that month, not on the first of the month, the first Sunday. My week will last in, for um, until the Saturday, and on sun, the next Sunday, Anne will post her video and her thoughts, and she'll sh be sharing with you for the week. Uh, after she's done, it will be Cindy, and then uh, the fourth week of the month will be Jerry, and if there is a fifth week in any given month, it'll be a free week and we will be posting randomness and sharing maybe some of your videos and things like that. Um, I did go into Facebook and I figured out my family birthdays for January and wrote them down. So my sister-in-law Maria and my brother-in-law Rich, my little sister Elizabeth and my dad are all in January. Um, I am going to take something I have liked to do for 2016. I still like to do it. It's still one of my favorite art journaling things. And when I go on vacation, I bring these with me. These are Bible um, Bible high gliders. They're gel um, highlighter crayons meant for Bible journaling. And I don't do that kind of journaling, but I love these things. They're fabulous. They go on dry. They dry quickly. Um, so we're, we're going to use them here for the birthdays, and I think we're going to go with purple. No, we're going to go with pink. And we are going to take the birthday days, and we're going to just do that. And then for New Year, I think we're going to do, we have, it's already bright and sparkly. I don't know that we want to do anything. I think we're going to just leave it. Happy New Year, the way it is. Maybe we'll take that same pen. Don't overthink it. Just work in your journal and do what feels right. Have some fun playing with all those random products that you've got probably laying around in your art room and that you never use and work on them in here and have fun with it and um, see what you can come up with. Now you can see right here this is lifting. It's not sticking to the other washi tape. So this is what I was talking about. So I'm going to take some of the glue and I'm going to put it underneath the tape and then I'm going to push it down. And this glue dries pretty quickly, so I'm going to keep pushing it down for a little bit until it dries. You could use gel medium, you could use, um, you know, whatever you have on hand. This is just some generic adhesive, clear adhesive glue from Tuesday morning. You don't want to put glue on top of it because it may... Um, Eliminate some of the sparkle, and we don't want to do that. We like the sparkle. And it's just, I think, because it is on the waxy, plasticky, washi tape down there, which it's not really liking sticking to. I am going to cut another piece of this off. And this sparkly tape, the only thing about it that I'm not crazy about is that it doesn't... Um, it doesn't really tear. I'm just listening to my impulses right now which said that I wanted more tape on here. So I'm adding more tape. I like that. It's just randomness. As the month of January goes along and we do different events and visit certain people, I will be, of course, taking pictures with my phone. I do have an LG Pocket Photo printer, which is a small printer. Hold on, something is stuck to my journal. Oh. Oh, okay. 
which is a small printer that prints small photos like this. Um, I will try to remember to put a link in the description below. And um, I will be taking pictures and I will be putting them in if we go to events and we get tickets or um, I get a present with a special um, gift tag on it over Christmas. It'll either go in here or go in the other journal for the end of 2016. Um, if we go visiting people and there are bits and pieces on the table or we go out to dinner, I always pick up a business card um, and stick them in my journal. Um, that sort of thing. So I want you to think about picking up bits and pieces of your life as the month goes on, putting them in here and then writing about what you did that day. It doesn't have to be a big, you know, long essay. Just, you know, put a couple of sentences. Um, take some pictures and put them in. Also, see, it's not wanting to stick. So we're gonna, I'm gonna work on that. Um, I'm gonna need some gel medium. Let's, let's just do that on camera, shall we? All right, so when nothing else works, I break out the heavy gel medium. So let's do that. All right. So this is Golden's Heavy Gel Medium in Matte. Has been, still is, my favorite glue on the planet. It'll stick anything to anything. I've even stuck smash pennies to my journals before with this glue. We will take a random piece of deli paper. Again, we don't want to get it on the front sparkly side. We just want to get it on the back side. So we're going to put some on this other washi tape. And stick that down. And then put that in there. There we go. We can slide it around. The gel medium takes a long time to dry, so you have plenty of time to slide things around. But once it dries, I can guarantee you this isn't going to go anywhere. I'm going to wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. And there we go. You notice that the sparkly tape stuck really well to the Zentangle card. It's this other washi tape that's on here, it's not wanting to stick to it. So sometimes you got to break out the big guns and break out the extra heavy gel medium or heavy gel medium. Um, Golden makes not only heavy, but extra heavy. All right. Clean off my palette knife. All righty. So over the month, think about adding bits and pieces of your life to your journal. Um, if you are um, wanting to do more little drawings and doodles, then do that. You definitely could do something sea lemon-esque and take your um, calendar and do a little doodle in every day of the month. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, go over to Sea Lemon's YouTube channel and um, look up her any one of her doodle um videos. She's got a couple of them up on her channel where she just doodles the whole calendar. They're really fabulous. All right, that's it for this month. Go out and have some fun. Don't forget the most important thing. A <laughs> couple more, I, I should say I should edit myself. A couple most important things because as I'm, as I'm going to say that, my standard, I'm thinking of another one. So one, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's only your way. So whatever way you decide to do that, do this journal for the year, whether you're doing it like I am or like one of the other teachers, follow your heart, listen to your muse, and do what feels right for you, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, all right? There we go, bubbles and bling. I've added some nice bling to my January page. Now I can't wait for New Year's so I can get some pictures in here, and I will make sure and do a flip um, before we do anything for the next month's prompt. And that's it for right now. Everybody have a happy holiday and a happy new year. Happy and safe one, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.